Good morning, everyone. Here we are on Sunday. It's uh, August 19th, I guess, today. Beautiful sunny day. Nice, comfortable temperatures. And uh, I know a few of our people are away today for, for various reasons. Um, still going through the summer holidays, right? I'm looking forward to the word that my, my wife is bringing this morning. But uh, as, we're, as we're reading through... Um, we're, we've kind of put a pause on Jeremiah for a moment as we read, read through uh, Kings and Chronicles uh, on the account of the sacking of, of Jerusalem. Um, I'm wondering if you caught it, whether you noticed it there, that the uh, we, we went through a number of kings this morning. It was fast. Like There was a king there for, for three months, another king for 11 years, another king for three months, and so on. And... Um, Jeremiah was the prophet for during during all this time, but the king that that tried to escape by night, who tried to escape out the back door and, and run away, uh, the ki that king who had his uh, who had to to watch his children killed in front of him, who had his eyes plucked out and it was uh, imprisoned in in Babylon. Did you notice who his mother was? His mother is the daughter of Jeremiah the prophet. See, a lot of these prophets people don't realize actually come from nobility. And uh, so Jeremiah was actually part of uh, King David's uh, family. And uh, here his daughter was um, married uh, to the king. And uh, the reason I point this out is because Jeremiah went through a lot. Uh, it, it was said of this king that he refused to submit to the prophet Jeremiah, which meant that he refused to submit to his grandfather. Um, the, 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 with everything that was going on, we shouldn't be surprised that it was not a culture of honor at this time. Sure, you had to honor the king, but nobody else had to honor anybody else. And the king certainly didn't have to honor anybody. Um, it was just a really bad time. But it also means that on top of everything that Jeremiah went through, and he went through a lot, he was lowered down in cisterns, it, it, he was imprisoned, um, he, was, he was beat, he was uh, uh, called names, ridiculed, ostracized, uh, all kinds of things because of the, the word that was being brought in. So on top of all of this, Jeremiah has to live with with the murder of his great-grandchildren. I'm sure he wasn't feeling too, too bad about his uh, um, grandson-in-law, I guess you would call him. Um, but his great-grandchildren? That would have been hard. But everything Jeremiah was seeing was hard. It, it wasn't like Jeremiah was... Um, was with, without, without feelings. He was looking around at the city that he loved. He was looking around at the people that he loved. He was looking around at this nation, this nation that was supposed to be great before God. And, and we know in the first part of Jeremiah, he, he, he pleaded. He pleaded for mercy from God. He pleaded for mercy from God. And at the beginning, maybe there had been a chance. Maybe. But nobody responded to Jeremiah. Nobody responded to the warning. Nobody responded. And, and we get that as we are reading through. Um, King Medessa had made such a mess of things. And if you remember having read through the, his account, um, it was absolutely deplorable. Everybody thought Ahab was bad. But this guy, he just, there was innocent blood flowing everywhere. And, and, and God just couldn't tolerate that. It was that Medessa is known as the, the place where the people cross the line. And, and so here Jeremiah is seeing the, the consequences of these actions, the consequences of the people for generation after generation after generation just ignoring God, generation after generation doing what they want, generation after generation doing the things that God said were detestable to him. But Jeremiah was suffering personally because of this. He wasn't a standoff prophet. 
he was suffering personally. Um, I, I don't know what happened to his, his daughter, who was married to the king, but we do know what happened, or not his, yeah, sorry, he wasn't married to the king. His daughter, who was the mother of the king. Sorry, I messed that all up, didn't I? I, I referred to the, the king as being the grandson-in-law, but no, this is his grandson, because it's, yeah, see, it gets confusing. There's a lot in here. But yeah, the, the, the king's mom is Jeremiah's daughter, which means the king's, his grandson, and the, the king's children who were killed in front of him were his great-grandchildren. And um, the personal loss that Jeremiah suffered from this. I, I, incredible. And, but we, we read yesterday how, how, um, how, how the king how the king honored Jeremiah, how the king um, wanted to take care of him. Um, the, the king, the Babylonian king, that is, uh, wanted to take care of him, make sure he was, he was okay. There was an honoring, there was an understanding that this was a, a special man, this was a spokesman of God. And uh, the king of Babylon said, hey, I'm only here because your God sent me. So there was some understanding there. Isn't that amazing? Anyway, Looking forward to meeting with everybody today and having getting our worship on, getting our love on, um, loving each other, loving our God, and uh, having things tweaked and, and going deeper with Him. Don't give up on going deeper. And uh, So we'll see you soon. God bless.